Hi, Mikael here. Today I will show you how one of Lightroom's tools can be turned into a simple version of the clone stamp tool that you can see here in action in Photoshop. What we need is a tool that can copy a part of the image to another location. And the spot removal tool in Lightroom does exactly that. Usually we just click once on a spot or scratch that we want to remove, but it's also possible to paint over a more extended area. We can also click and drag both the source and destination areas, and this is exactly what we need in order to turn the spot removal tool into a very simple version of the clone stamp. In this first example, I will duplicate this page. To do that, I just paint over it and its shadow, and as expected, it is removed from the image. Next, I drag the destination, which is where the peach was, out of the way, and I click and drag on the source to place it on the peach. Finally, I reposition the destination to where I want the copy of the peach to be. I will do exactly the same in this second example, making sure I select absolutely every part of the man. So I start by outlining this man and then I paint over the whole area inside, just making sure I select everything. For some reason, the copy has a different color than the original and it's visible in particular in the t-shirt which is almost black in the copy instead of grey as in the original. In the spot removal panel, you see two options, clone, which is selected, and heal. So I will click on the heal button to see if it's better. And indeed, it is better in this case. I would have expected the opposite, because clone is an exact copy while heal is a mix of the texture from the source, but in this case, heal gives a better result, so let's keep it this way. In any case, if that happens to you, make sure you try both options and see which works best. You're not limited to a single copy. In this case, we will clone this chair twice on different parts of the image. First, we copy the full chair and try to align it perfectly with the floor. It's not easy to align it perfectly, however, because the floor is not completely flat. So we'll have to refine it by cloning just that little part of the image. Back to our first image. If we want to move the peach instead of simply copying it, we just have to use the spot removal tool once again on the original and it will be erased. There are obviously many cases where it's not possible to use this method, for instance, where, when you have complex backgrounds, but as you've seen, it's not always necessary to use Photoshop to clone simple things. Thanks a lot for watching, please click on the like button, it really helps a lot. Let me know if you have comments or questions, and subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to click on the bell button to be notified when I publish my next videos.